Hi there, welcome back. I'm Lawrence Schwedler. I'm the program director of DigiPen's music and sound design program. In the last video, we talked about how one goes about starting uh, to build a soundscape, a musical soundscape for a video game. In this case, it's the science fiction game. And the scheme we're going to use is what's called a vertical layering scheme, where we introduce layers of music that all blend together to create an increasing of intensity as the game progresses. So uh, we laid down the base layer uh, last video, which sounds like this. And my feeling is that evokes a certain, a little bit of heroic, a little bit of sci-fi. It's kind of a nice mood for this, for this um, particular game. Uh, the next layer, I think, is going to be another synth. But I should mention that uh, here at DigiPen in the program, we're not just doing sci-fi synth stuff. Um, when you're doing an orchestral soundtrack, uh, we, we'll start with virtual instruments. But it's very effective to record an actual instrument, a real violin or a real guitar, on top of virtual instruments. And somehow that manages to elevate the entire experience and make it fool the ear, the casual listener, into thinking that perhaps there are more real instruments than there really are. In this case, though, we're going to stick with synth. So I'm going to make a new track and uh, try uh, to find a patch that goes with this. So I'm going to poke around here. Uh, I got lucky. Uh, Cadence of Triton. <laughs> a nice uh, bass patch that's going to go really nicely with our, uh, with our other tracks. So I'm going to just hit record. And now I've got two layers. Uh, I've got my first layer, which you've heard before. And then I got my second layer, which is really straight ahead. It's just this nice low bass note. With some cool sweepy textures under it. But together, they work pretty nicely. All right, uh, sticking with our sci-fi theme, for the third layer, I'm going to switch my tack here. And I'm going to try um, uh, scrolling through the library of, of loops, Apple loops in this case. Although, again, all the DAWs have uh, libraries, the good DAWs have libraries of loops that are fun to search through. And I'm going to now try to find a yet another um, instrument or sound or timbre, tone color, that'll sit on top of this and work well. So uh, I'm going to type in a, a few keywords here that might help me and uh, to narrow my, my uh, maybe not. Ooh, I like that one. Remix breath box vocal. Let's try that. I'm going to literally just drag that loop out of, the, out of the library and put it here into the track. And with this amazing, <laughs> these tools are too powerful, by the way. So be careful how you use them at home. <laughs> I'm just going to loop it. And let's hear what those three uh, sound like working together. It's a little bit loud. I'll bump down the volume a bit. I like it. I think this can work. So again, we've got three layers now. We have our bass layer, that kind of heroic horn thing. And then we've got this bass just sweeping in from the bottom. And then we've got this third layer sitting on top of this crazy breath box vocal. So our next step is going to be using Logic Pro to take these three layers and mix them so that we wind up with three pieces of looping music that are all exactly the same duration. We're going to take those three mixes that we finish and import them into what's called audio middleware We'll be using Audio Kinetics Wise and using those to create the effect that we want in the game itself. So I'll see you next time.